Yo, what up, Street Talks? Eric Kim. All right, the Turbo Thought. Why marketing works. Oh yeah, get the gains, right? So I just got these new Lululemon athletic shorts called License to Train. And this is one thing I discovered is that whether we like it or not, marketing works really well on uh, everybody. So we are very subtly influenced by words thoughts, images, and so forth. Now, um, Daniel Kenneman, uh, Amos Tversky, the Thinking Fast and Slow, would probably say that it is because of the notion of priming. So basically the notion of priming is, um, you know, uh, for example, if you tell somebody to think about Florida or old people, they typically walk down slower down a, a corridor. But if you tell them to think about lions, cheetahs, Usain Bolt, they probably walk faster. Or similarly speaking, um, better to have a photo of super buff Arnold Schwarzenegger or uh, you know the Ronnie Coleman, like super swole, lifting a uh, big weight. Uh, as a poster on the wall at the gym rather than uh, a skinny uh, dweeb, right? So basically the idea is that we are subtly influenced by everything, whether we like it or not. And this is, uh, to me, it's actually, it's really important because I think we all aspire to become something and therefore, um, a lot of the stuff that we buy, you know, we all live in a capitalist society. Um, we purchase things because they are aspirational. We think that by buying the thing, we become more of the thing. So for example, um, you know, uh, let's say Lululemon, uh, you know, sexy girls with, a, you know, nice legs or big butts or whatever. Uh, women buy Lululemon tights because they aspire to become this, you know, very, uh, sexy physique uh similarly speaking um people buy jordan sneakers because they want to become michael jordan um people buy like a cameras because they want to become Ricardo brisson uh people buy lamborghinis because they want to become this like audacious loud egotistical center of attention kind of like a i don't give a f type mentality um, people get Apple because they think it'll make them more suave, elite, cool, whatever. And so, first, the first thought is we have to accept the fact that marketing works and we are subtly uh, influenced by it. Now, the tricky thing then is, is this a good thing and should we allow ourselves to get, you know, influenced and primed in certain ways? Uh, I'm, I'm of uh, several thoughts. So, the first thought is, you know, I can never find products, honestly, almost anything that I actually really, really like. And so maybe actually um, it's better to just shop online and look at the marketing copy and whether you like it or not, have that influence you, right? So for example, these Lululemon licensed to tra train shorts, the, you know, the fabric is supposed to be like abrasion, uh, abrasion resistant, you know, prevents you from from tearing against barbells and you know the it's a good title license to train because then they're focused for training so you know if you like to lift weights and train it seems good um and that's pretty much what got me um compare this to the i ordered some outlier.nyc the gym shorts the ultra i think ultra easy shorts or something but it's kind of the the marketing is very strange like what does ultra easy mean and then you know i got the i got the shorts and then you know they're they're pretty good but the, the zippers didn't feel good in the front uh zippers and also the pockets felt well like you feel like the product was made for the sake of it rather than made with passion and my thought is typically um guys who buy clothes from outlier.nyc like my theory is they tend to be these kind of like silicon valley guys who kind of work out kind of don't maybe could bench two plates maybe could deadlift the three plates but nothing beyond that and so the the marketing for the outlier NYC shorts was very weird because it's like i didn't quite know who it was for and it wasn't specific enough so 
I mean, if I was the head of uh, marketing for Outlier for the uh, the shorts, right? It should have been like something like, you know, the only shorts you'll need for the rest of your life kind of, uh, you know, travel the world in it, deadlift or squat whenever you need to be, um, adventure more, the zippers are good so your your stuff don't fall out while you're like in an Uber going somewhere. And the idea that the material is like armor or like super uh, resistant to any sort of uh, tears or whatever. Um, and, you know, so for my thought about clothing, clothing should be thought of a, an enhancer or like a armor, right? Um, so, you know, medieval knights have their armor. Nowadays, we have our clothes. Um, and, and this is from mostly a marketer's perspective. If you are the marketer, think about your own aesthetic taste and what you think uh, is aspirational, right? So another example, um, let's say with Apple and the iPad, right? The idea is that the end user is this visual artist, photographer, likes to do some digital images, sketching stuff. So then the idea is that the iPad empowers you to be more creative all the time, anywhere, without uh, limits. Even the new iP uh, the new MacBook Air, I'm like, marketing is so weird. Like it's, it's a, like, it's a little bit boring and lame. It should just be more like, For the nomad globe trotter individual who wants the best, most powerful laptop that lasts forever, that you could always be productive on the road. Like to me, that's a, a better image. Um, even the the new Max, uh, the new Mac, right? The the Mac Studio, Mac Studio, the the <laughs> it looks like a Mac Mini but a double cheeseburger. That should just it should be more images of like aspiring DJs or aspiring beat makers or you know hardcore photographers or videographers that that kind of imagery didn't exist um creating without limits creating faster not letting big file sizes get in your way to to consume more to eat more to uh process more but anyways so also um this is a thought if you're a photographer right how to best market yourself as a photographer to focus the benefits is the, the key, right? So to just say the features of what you do is, is kind of boring. You want to be aspirational, right? So let, let's say you're a portrait photographer, a wedding photographer, or let's say a commercial photographer, right? The market, your marketing copy should be, and when I say copy, that's just the, the text, right? Your marketing copy should be, you know, I'll help you look more beautiful. I'll help you get more swipe rights on Twitter to get more more pics. Um, uh, business look more professional in order to close more deals, make more money. Um, you know, if you're doing headshots for a quote unquote influencer, this is my heuristic. If someone calls themselves an influencer, they are actually not influential. But um, you know, help you get more likes, more followers, um, look more interesting, look more unique. Um, so. Think that your service or your product or whatever you offer will help people become more of the thing that they, they aspire to, right? So even in photography, right, the, the goal that we want, especially let's say in street photography is, in street photography you want to become more courageous, confident, reckless, audacious, um, you know, less hesitant, more creative, more inspired, more motivated. And so this is like, if you're a teacher, this is what you do, right? Like, let's say you teach photography workshops or classes or whatever. Then you say that, oh, this workshop or this, you know, program, whatever, will help you become more inspired, more creative, more uh, open-minded, more, uh, you know, you know, better visual acuity and stuff like that. So when it comes to marketing, Think about what you aspire to become, what you aspire others to become, and make it optimistic.